Okay, today we're going to look at the uh, progress on the Cadiz Railroad Fairmont M14 motor car. I've been kind of getting upgraded for a buddy of mine over in Mississippi. Uh, it's a 1952 model. A uh, couple few things I did. Of course, I had the front headlight, front tow hitch. Horn, a new drain plug, I uh, had a, installed a uh, buzz coil, this is what they had before, this is regular automotive coil, they, they won't run very good on those, they will run but not very good, anyway there's the buzz coil. Uh, adjusted, the, adjusted the points, the uh, timer points, cleaned them and adjusted them. They were pretty good shape. The new uh, water hopper cap on there, it was the rest of the way. Uh, the sides here, it was kind of open towards the flywheel. Put some expanded metal in this area here to keep uh, people's fingers feet, clothing, whatever else out of there. There's another picture of it a little bit better. So, um, it's got an alternator. It was a 6 volt cell. Converted it to 12 volts. New cells, gasket springs in the carb, carburetor. There's a new wiring for the alternator timer. Completely new wiring on the whole car. Wiring for the horn. Uh, Use block. This is a protection of the battery and all the different parts of the motor. It's a six position fuse block, but uh, there's one left. I've used five. It's got an inline fuse, 40 amp fuse here between the battery and the fuse block. There's a uh, the control panel I installed. It's got a horn. Volt gauge, voltage gauge. Uh, so when your alternator's working, I like those better than an amp gauge, you really can see what's going on with them. Amp gauge is hard to tell what's happening. So ignition switch and lights. Uh, just went ahead and left the knife blade switch on here. It was originally on the car. Uh, you know, kind of keep it as close as you could to. The way it came from the factory. Clean the fuel bowl, put new screens and gaskets. Uh, also, you can see here, right here is the brake switch. Here and here. As you push the brake forward, it releases that arm and allows the uh, the uh, brake light to uh, to flash for narco rules. Here's the brake light installing. Push the brake lever forward. You can see it flashing. Uh, so two new wheels. Two of the wheels were one completely out, so I uh, cleaned them up. So I put new two new two newer wheels on there. Uh, adjusted the uh, Adjusted the uh, the axles to be sure that everything was uh, aligned properly. The wheels were aligned. Uh, new brake shoes here and there, all the way around. Uh, cleaned up the brake rigging real good. Had to uh, put a new axle half on the on the uh, right side front split axle that was bent uh, installed grease fittings where there were oil cups to uh, better lubricate the car all the way around where there were any oil cups I installed grease fittings little hose here for your uh, 
vent pipe for your condenser vent pipe help keep the the uh, dirt divers out of there it's completely packed with dirt divers and uh, that's about it it's a run little car Let's see if we crank it up I've already adjusted it so I set the timer back a little fuel Ignition switch and then we'll close the knife blade. Crank handle. Alright, whenever you crank a car, of course, you don't want to grab it like this. I always like this because it kicks back, you don't want to break your arm. So let's see what she'll do. video will be giving her a test run up in Mississippi on the Mississippi Delta Railroad hopefully in a couple of weekends we'll get her done and get it up there and give it a test run and see how she does anyway that's it uh, thanks thanks for watching <laughs>